As we come on the air tonight, federal help is on the way to Baldwin County to fight an invasion hurting Alabama communities. NBC 15's Corey Pippen spoke to a wildlife removal expert in Baldwin County who says relief from wild hogs could take years. Wildlife experts tell me feral hogs can do extensive damage to property and the environment and can attack if provoked. They say federal help is needed to manage the problem, but it still won't be easy. You probably throw eradication out the window. We're at the management point. JJ McCool is a biologist and owner of the animal control business Wildlife Solutions in Fairhope. He says these rifles decked out with noise suppressors and thermal imaging and the vehicle you see here. We'll pull into a field and we'll be watching a field. We just climb up and use it for a stand. Are just a few of the tools he and his crew use to either trap and remove or kill wild hogs, causing property and environmental damage throughout our area. And the need is only growing. We get a lot of calls now in areas that I would have never thought would gotten wild hogs, golf courses, neighborhoods. Tonight, the U.S. Department of Agriculture is stepping up to help through a new program devoting more than three and a half million dollars to combat the feral hog population in Alabama, focusing specifically on six counties, Baldwin included. Their reproductive rate is incredible. They don't have enough natural predators, so they're, they're pretty well unchecked. The USDA will provide full-time technicians to work with landowners to remove feral pigs. McCool is glad something is being done, but believes they should work with private contractors with gear already in place. Companies like ours that have survived, we figured out how to do it efficiently and how to do it cost effectively. The program will also help other states dealing with the same problem, like in Texas, where officials say a woman was killed last month by a pack of wild hogs. It's simply about time. It's just we really don't have a choice. It's one of those things we've got to get a handle on. The program is expected to last for three years, and McCool says it will likely take years to make any dent in the number of wild hogs. In Baldwin County tonight, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.